I was just digging around through floor plan websites and I found a house that I really want to try and recreate in The Sims. I don't know what it is about this one because it's really different from my usual build style, but I think I just like the dark brick and the wood accents and stuff. Now, I would love to recreate this exactly. It's just that um, the shape of the back specifically is not good. So maybe we could just take some inspiration from this and not like completely try to imitate it, but I do like the floor plan. They've kind of split like the left side and the right side of the house into like living space and bedrooms and I think it makes a lot of sense. I might leave off the garage because it's The Sims 4 and we don't have cars. I thought we could build it here in Oasis Springs because it kind of fits that mid-century vibe. You know, looking at this again, the house is literally just a square, which I don't think I realized. I might try and base it off the front of the house a little bit more just so it maybe looks a little more interesting because otherwise I don't think it'll end up being very nice in The Sims. Okay, this is also going to be kind of small, which I guess I didn't really think about. I mean, I picked a 20 by 15 lot, so I shouldn't sit here and act shocked that it's not gonna be a giant house, but for some reason I felt like I had more space than I actually do. In the real house, they've got like a kind of cool looking, I guess, platform or like wall or something that's decorative that kind of covers the front door. I don't know how to make that work in The Sims 4 because the scale is kind of throwing me off. I think in real life they've got like slightly taller walls back here, but I can't exactly make this wall shorter, so I don't really know what to do. This is what happens every single time I try try and recreate a real life house or like a house from a picture because the scale in The Sims is stuck on this grid and it just doesn't match real life at all. Okay, what do we think about something like this? I kind of wish this door was like a little bit taller. <laughs> it's really bugging me how it's not, but I think this looks cool. You know, maybe it doesn't look cool. I don't really know what I want it to look like, but there's something about this that feels like maybe it's too wide or something. Do you think I could use a skinnier door? Or I wonder if we used a door like this. I know that's really different, but maybe Maybe that's kind of interesting. Okay, here's kind of what I'm envisioning for the front though. It's not too complicated. I feel like it kind of works. There's really not a lot of space in the back. I was originally thinking we could fence it in, but there's so little space. I don't know if it's worth it even. I guess we could maybe put like some sort of ergola or something over the back. This can provide some like fake shade. <laughs> and then maybe we could put like some columns just to have it look a little bit more interesting. I actually think I like that a lot. I don't know if it fits the style of the house that much, but I do like this better than how the real life picture looks because let's be honest, the back of that floor plan was not good. You know, I think once there's some windows and some landscaping and stuff, it's gonna come together really nicely. Maybe we could do like a big giant sliding glass door in the back. Something like that would be really cool. It's annoying because the swatches are slightly off. Like they aren't the exact same color, but this is just The Sims 4. That, that's just how it's gonna be. Okay, pulling this up again, it's definitely way too small. Like there's literally no way we can have a kitchen and three bedrooms all in this small space that we put. We can definitely make it kind of similar, like sort of have the bedrooms over here and the living space over here. We just are not gonna be able to fit three. <laughs> There's literally no way that we can fit three, but we could probably have like maybe a little hallway or something like this, or we could even make this room a little bit smaller so that we could maybe have like kitchen dining over here, living space here, and then a couple of bedrooms. You know what? Let's think about this because this might actually work really well. Do you see how in this picture they kind of have the kitchen like coming out a little bit with like a peninsula? What if we did that, but we did our like over here and the peninsula kind of came this way. Obviously we'd use different countertops than that, but like what if the kitchen kind of went like this and then we could have a dining table like over here. I'm kind of just putting some random furniture in just so we can figure out scale, but we could probably fit that and then some sort of living room kind of facing a TV on this wall and there's plenty of walking space. This might be really good. Okay, let me just get rid of all of that because this is not gonna stay. This was not the plan. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out the shape. I wonder if we use the island living counters? Oh my my god, why do you do that? Don't do that. But I haven't really used these counters in a while and I think that looks really cool. I'm kind of picturing like a lot of black and white, but maybe some wood tones as an accent inside. I don't really know about budget either. I guess I didn't really intend to have one, but I probably also shouldn't spend like a million simoleons on a house this small. This looks really nice though. Like, isn't that pretty? Okay, I will admit to you though, I'm not really sure about the, the shelves that came with Island Living. I'm, I'm never sure about like the shape of them because they are kind of weird. I feel like there's a reason. Oh, do they not come in black? Why? Why don't they match the same swatches? That makes no sense. Oh my God. 
Just go away. That's fine. Why don't they have the same colors? I never understood this. This kind of thing happens all the time with The Sims, where they'll make, like, a matching set, except the set doesn't match. At that point, why even make it? <laughs> I'd rather not have it. I think I want to use a wood in here, but maybe something like this that looks a little bit more, like, modern to me. I don't know what it is about this floor, but I think the different colors in it make it read a little bit more modern like that. Should I run it vertically instead? I don't know. Is there a heat wave? Oh! <gasps> The screen is like shaking. Oh no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, make it stop. Go away. All right, I think that should be fixed. Stanley has immediately gone and gotten some yogurt or something, so good for him. We should put some windows in the bathroom, something like this maybe. I'm trying to see if any of the colors from the high school pack look good in here, because I really like these chairs, and we could probably use them in like the wood color if we wanted to, but I think it would also be fun to do like a color, because we don't really have a lot of color in this room. But maybe the black looks kind of cool. And then if we had a rug under it, there's a lot of cool rugs from the high school pack also. Things like this one that kind of come in some interesting swatches that sort of tie in our color scheme. I still can't tell if I hate it or not. I'm, I'm sort of staring at it trying to decide. I might need to come back to this. We'll just put like some plants and stuff on it to try and make it look a little bit nicer. What if there was just four chairs instead? Maybe that helps. There's just something about it that feels like it's maybe a little bit too much. What if we use one of those debug couches from Eco Lifestyle? I don't know if the color is good or not, but it does have a little bit of wood, which might help. Okay, I honestly can't tell if this is good or not. I think we might need to use different bar stools or something, because something about this just isn't working, but I don't know what it is. I guess we could always go back to like a more simple rug. <laughs> like some sort of square is always a nice safe bet. I don't know, I don't like that one. I kind of liked this. It is weird, but that that's kind of the beauty of it. Ooh, I wonder if we could use this coffee table outside because it has like the fire pit accent in it. You know what? I always forget about this thing. Should we try and- no, I don't know. We could try to use it. it. The wood is kind of interesting. Oh, I've definitely spent like way too much money. This is gonna be a really expensive house and it's gonna be so small. No, that's like honestly a bad thing. It's so tiny and it's gonna be so expensive. Maybe if we found a painting that we could kind of use as like a color scheme inspiration, I guess that might also be cutting it a little bit close to the door, but it's probably fine, right? I'm gonna get a thermostat too, because I always forget to add those in and we live in Oasis Springs where there is obviously, as we just experienced, heat waves, so <laughs> it'd be nice to have some AC. I love this rug, I think it is so pretty, but I'm really not certain about like what color would look good in here, especially when we think about this rug. Like, I don't really know how to pair something with it. Does that look okay? Or is that like way, way too close? It's almost maybe too much pattern. I like the size of this though. And I think it kind of works with the painting we put, although I'm not sure. The other options are no good. <laughs> I don't I don't like any of the other options. Oh, this is really hard. There is a reason that I very rarely build modern houses, and I think this is the reason because I really don't know what to do. The other thing I think is that when I try and make houses with like a dark color scheme where I, I try and use black as a main color, I feel like I've got a real problem with like getting that in my head and then making everything black. And I don't really use other colors. I know that's kind of what the house looks like, like it's pretty much all black, but not on the inside. So I don't know, I I feel like I've kind of dug myself into a hole with this. <laughs> Maybe I'll try the exterior now and we can come back to the inside. There are some really, really pretty like all black bricks that we can use. This piece is like kind of a stone in the picture, but I think I might do it with wood instead. Problem is, I don't really know what kind of wood to use. I think I would like it better if it was vertical, but it really bugs me how the vertical paneling doesn't line up. So it's like this part specifically is making me not want to use vertical paneling. And then I guess I'm just not really sure what color it should be, like what tone it should be. Maybe if we went for like a more yellowy sort of color, that could be nice. Cause that kind of like blends in with the desert. I wonder if we swapped the interior to look like a little bit more yellowy toned. Maybe that would help with the inside, like making it a little bit brighter or something. And then we can use the stone as like one accent wall, but not paint all of the walls black. I guess we've kind of gone for this like deep blue color. So I wonder if we could incorporate that somewhere. And then we could honestly paint like most of the walls just white with the exception of maybe some tile in the kitchen or something. Should I use the black wall in the kitchen? I don't know. Can I use like a white version maybe? Or is it weird to have like the same stone in two different colors? Maybe if we did like a tile or something instead, although I don't really like how that looks either. <laughs> I'm not really sure about that. I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna sit on it for a second. Sometimes it helps just to like stare at it for a while until you figure out if you like it or not. I'm still unsure, so I'm gonna 
I'm gonna let it stare. No, 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 no. I want to put, I want to put like a trim, but only on the front of this. I don't want it to be on the whole thing. I want it to stop right there. There we go. Okay, I think that actually looks kind of cool. And then we could probably do like a metal roof or something. Ooh. Why is the shade of black not right? This doesn't even come in black. It comes in like gray. Oh, we could always do one that has like a bit more texture to it. Also, what if we like made this a bit wider and we had like more of a proper covered patio? Okay, I'm about to fill in the entire front yard basically with gravel, but I really like the idea of having some sort of like planter boxes basically in the front. Maybe I'll scoot this whole thing over a little. Is that gonna delete my walls? Oh, it didn't. Okay, good. What did it delete? Oh, the fence. I was like, why did that give me money back? Back. Oh, duh. <laughs> the entire backyard is gone. Because maybe if this like wrapped around a little bit. See, I just love the idea of something like this, like these beautiful plants kind of lining the front. Would it look better if they were different sizes? Like, is that why it looked weird? And then does me lining up this many of these little plants look weird? Because I kind of like it, but <laughs> I don't know if it looks bad or not. We can like, I mean, we can kind of rotate them around a little bit so they don't all look like they're completely identical. And then maybe once we have some furniture added, like something to kind of break it up. Does that even come in black? Black, or is that like a dark wood? I don't even care. You can't see it. It's like in the shadows. Oh, this one comes in black and wood. It's a different color wood, but something. I think I kind of like that. I feel like it turned out really nice on the front. I think I'll probably just try and recreate something a little bit similar in the back. I mean, we can just do like the exact same thing in the front and also back here. I don't really know what is gonna go down this way because <laughs> there's kind of like a, a long skinny section of, of nothing. Would it work to sort of put an outdoor kitchen over here? I know it's really tight, but if we were to kind of fill it in with like a grill and some counters and stuff. Would that look nice? I think it looks kind of cool and it feels like it's a good use of the space. And then maybe some sort of like couch or something with a little bit of a wood accent. You know, this actually looks really pretty to me. I think I really like how this is coming along. And that leaves us with furnishing the rest of the inside, which I had previously given up on because I got stressed and couldn't figure out what to do. I swear I'm not trying to make this house that expensive, by the way. Like I actually am trying to use slightly cheaper stuff, but it's already worth worth like 31,000, which isn't so bad, but it's only two bedrooms. So it really shouldn't be like a 60,000 simoleon house, which I am seriously guilty of doing a lot. This needs to be like reasonably affordable. Okay, that's important to me. I think I wanna do the kids room first. And I think I wanna try and use like some sort of pattern on the wall. I really like the idea of having a little bit more color in here. Like this to me looks really cool. How do we feel about this? Because I think I like how these colors work together. I guess it's maybe more of like a teen's bedroom, but also it's kind of nice that it could be sort of whatever you need it to be. I say as if anyone is actually going to download this house. This house has so many packs in it. There's like, it's just not useful. <laughs> it's just not useful. It might be affordable, but it's not useful. I also put a computer in there because I want to have a computer somewhere in this house and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit it in this bedroom. I think I'd like to use a lot of the main colors of the house in this room, but I don't really know what bed to use. You know what? This one might work. I really like that. And it kind of matches the color scheme we're going for. What if we put like a kind a cutesy fuzzy rug under it. I kind of love that. I think this room looks really good. I don't know about this room. <laughs> you know, the main room, the rest of the house. I think once we add in some more decor and stuff, it'll start working better. Oh, what if we did the matching bar stools that fit with the chairs? I guess I also didn't put a trash can in here, so I probably should get one of those. I just don't like them. Like this trash can next to my beautiful island is really throwing it off. I wonder if there's like a navy blue rug, something that kind of matches this. We do have options. I just feel like most of them aren't the right size. It's so so hard to find like the right size and color. You know what? This kind of looks like a sponge. I, there's a reason we don't use that one. <laughs> it's because it's scary. That's like too much pattern. This one size down might work, but then is it like too close to the other one? That's what I'm not sure about. I think I actually kind of like that. Maybe that's nice. Maybe, maybe the house could be done. I really love the front. I will say that. And I also love the kid's bedroom. I'm not super sure about the colors of the rugs in here. What if we did brown? Wait, maybe that's better because it kind of matches the other tones in this rug. You know what? That. I'm gonna say is done. 41,000, I was trying to make it cost 30. Well, I will stick this on the gallery for you in case you want to download it. Real quick before I go, I wanted to remind you all that today is the last day of my fundraiser for Able Gamers on my Twitch channel. Able Gamers is a charity that works to help improve accessibility in the video game space. They do a lot of really cool, really amazing things and we're raising money for them all weekend on Twitch. So I'm gonna link my stream down below, but also the donation page down below in case you wanna pop by. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And with that being said, I'm gonna go and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody.
There's something about how those windows look with that stone wall that I just think is so beautiful. I really, really like the front of this house.